We're about to head out to the toy drive, but first we gotta make a pit stop. Get some carne asada for the trip. I think carne asada is a must when you're up there camping. Maybe Freezing some, your butt off. Maybe in the some mountains. chicken too. <laughs> maybe. Take a look and see what we got. Danny knows how to pick his meat. <laughs> <laughs> this yes. is the good stuff. Yes. This right here. <laughs> yes. This is what we're here for. Flat meat, and then let's get some chicken oil. No, it's oil. Oh, it's oil. Oh, and oil is Spanish for chicken. Uh, should we just get the drinks here, guys? What kind of beer are we getting? What kind of whiskey are we getting? <laughs> Was gonna grab some beer here, beer here, but not feeling any of the beers they have. So, no tengo modelo. No. What are we gonna get? Like two? I know. I'm getting the Joe Dirt going right now. <laughs> Joe Dirt. <laughs> See that? I got Joe a dirt. gator in my pool. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chuck is so, dude. It's got more fat, and it it grills better. Why do we want fat? We want because the meat gets juicier. <laughs> oh, what... Joe Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is what America looks like. <laughs> 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 Next stop, State of Brothers. State of Brothers. I don't know where we're going. Yeah, so these guys are actually gracious enough to get good. to move out of our way. You're good, you're good. They're gonna try and let us squeeze through because we are a little more capable than these guys. It was just that one, I couldn't see the rock. Whoa. Oh, damn! Big drop. You. Good on my size. In it. You and four low? Yeah, four high. Tell my dad to go back up and go far uh, passenger and then hit the dirt. Yeah, right here. But rock. He's got dirt on his passenger side that he can crawl through. Okay, so we're not even at our campsite yet and we're gonna be near a peak because it's this- There's snow here though. It's this genius's idea. Super cold. 40 degrees out right now. The wind, and the wind makes it even worse. But inside the trailer- Oh my God. Whoa, it is warm. I, I mean, what do you think? Like 70 maybe 70 degrees in here? And we don't even have our little heater on? Oh yeah, I'm gonna be sleeping good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, <you> got a tent. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, how's that for mountain man? <laughs> we're, we're good, dude. We got sleeping bags. Hey, you, need some you, taquitos. You guys can spoon each other so you stay warm. We're gonna be spooning Serge. Damn right I am. Who's the big spin in the trailer, Serge? Tell me now. Huh? Who's the big spin in here? Oh, me for I sure. I think Christian one is gonna sleep in there with him. All right, all right. We're getting set up out here. Hey, Christian, what do you got there? Easy sink. What is an easy sink? It's literally easy. And it's warm water. Nice. Is it warm? Yeah. So it's a little portable wash station? It sure is. Mm -hmm. It can either be a shower. Whoa. Or a sink. Shout out to my brother for donating one of these. He's actually the founder and creator of Easy Sink. We love it. And you got a little soap dispenser right here. Yep, soap dispenser. So I love this too because I used to work construction and my brother is actually a, uh, he's a commercial plumber. So this is perfect for the end of the day because the wash stations are always on the other side of the, uh, other side of the construction site. So this is actually a really cool idea. We're gonna use it for some camping out here wash our dishes, wash our hands, keep our faces clean. So check it out, easysync.net, and let them know that we sent you. But enough of that. We're going to get a little walk around of the campsite here. So what are you guys doing? Hammock. Setting up a, ham setting up a hammock. Are you going to sleep in there tonight? Yes. Yeah? No. 20 degree weather? No, Let's do it. 
a little bathroom station gotta have it got our little propane heater up here with some chairs got our Yeti coolers on display got David Bowie playing cuz why not got Christian's tent set up so these guys are actually living large in here they're gonna be oh and I think they have a little heater in here oh I like it and then of course we got the overland trailer we got to get this thing a little organized but we're gonna be cooking some carne asada here in a little bit got some beans and rice morning everybody it is about 7 a.m. in the morning in beautiful Green Valley Lake, California. It's probably about 36 degrees out right now, so it's actually not too bad. Uh, the wind is what's a little, uh, a little rough. Once the wind starts picking up, that chill factor goes up pretty high, but um, some of our equipment died last night so turning on the uh the jeep to get the gopros charged up but we're gonna be uh, making some coffee here pretty soon everybody else is still sleeping so i might go pay them a visit just because why not and then we'll uh get some coffee brewing get the fire going and then just kind of relax before we start packing up because um i'm gonna turn the camera around here for a minute at about noon today, uh, there's actually a wish granting foundation that we always work with every year. And uh, they're gonna be doing a wish in Redlands, California, which is our hometown. So it's gonna be kind of nice because they're gonna get the local police involved, the local fire department involved. And I believe we're actually gonna convoy to the child's home and then basically present Christmas to them. We'll have Santa there. So uh, I'm gonna try and make it at noon so we got to try and get this whole campsite packed up by then and then hopefully I'll be able to get a little more footage down the road there because um, you know it's nice to give back and and help out whenever you can and uh, this foundation is really great so what's up buddy how'd you sleep Pretty rough. <laughs> Quite will not give you a permit for that kind of stuff. They will give you permits though, or they will allow you to use on all these trails propane stoves, propane uh, pants, things like that. So the fire bowl for what we got the 24 inch, and it comes with the lava rock uh, long enough. Uh, hose so that your propane tank isn't right there next to you loved that it's very well built and I actually found it on sale uh, I don't know it must have been some uh, end of the year sale typically they run for that 24 inch they run about 160 180 depending on who you buy it from and I ended up finding it for like 89 93 like night I think it was $93 out the door with shipping. That is a killer deal. Couldn't beat that. Killer. I mean, you just it can't beat that. And you saw how well it worked. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know? I was the first one up this morning, and it was just me cleaning up the camp a little bit and making some coffee and sitting by the fire. And it was nice because I didn't have to get the wood out, you know, make, make some kindling, you know, get a little fire bundle going or whatever that was, or even just, um, what is it, uh, the lighter fluid, mm -hmm. you know? No, none of it. It was so nice. Turn the gas on, boom, drop a match in there, it lit right up. You have a fire. No, and, and the good thing is, is there's no lag time. It jumped right up to a full-size fire, mm -hmm. you know, which was great. And another perk to it is you don't have to worry about storage. You literally put the thing in your rig and that's it. You don't have to worry about bundles and bundles and bundles of firewood or pallets and all that, all that stuff if you burn that. Um, but I mean, what, well, okay, so enough about that. What do you think was another like necessity or, you know, or a luxury item, doesn't matter, but what do you think? I, 
Yeah, and you know, that's the hard part is are they luxury items or are they necessities? And I guess that all depends on where it is that you're camping at. So uh, having a little heater is always a good idea because you never know, you know? I mean, it's always just best to be prepared. And now you can find those little electric heaters or even the small propane heaters. Um, very inexpensive almost anywhere. Um, so for me, that's another must have. Whether I use it or not, I know I have it, you know? All right, folks, we are getting ready to hit the pavement. So we're going to air up um, because we aired da down. That way it was easier for us to get through the snow and a little bit of the obstacles that we faced. So we're gonna take some time to air up right now and then we're gonna hit some, uh, some pavement. Stay tuned.